Hi, I'm Richard Burnett, and welcome to my queer walking tour of Montreal. <laughs> the offices of Queer Concordia, which has been around in one incarnation or another since 1978. In fact, I even lectured here back in 1997. Here we are at the Simone de Beauvoir Institute on Bishop Street. The building behind me actually used to be one of Montreal's great lesbian bars back in the 1970s called Madame Arthur's. At the location of Babyface Disco, one of the pioneering lesbian bars here in Montreal, which was run by Denise Cassidy, whose professional wrestling name was Babyface. We're standing in front of the Limelight on Stanley Street. The Limelight was the epicenter of Montreal's disco scene when the city was North America's second city of disco. And the scene, particularly here at the Limelight, was a crazy wild mix of gay and straight, black and white. Next door to the Limelight, we have behind me Buds. Uh, used to be a gay leather bar which was raided by the police in 1984. That was really the, the last straw for the gay community before they moved east to the East Village. And right above Buds was Hollywood, which was a gay hustler bar. We are standing in front of the old trucks building on Stanley Street, which Montreal police raided on the night of October 21st, 1977, charging 150 patrons with being foundins in a common body house. The protest forced the Quebec government to amend the Quebec Charter of Rights and Freedoms to protect gays and lesbians back in December 1977. Behind me is the Tropical Room up on the second floor. It's where Arma Monroe, legendary Montreal drag queen La Monroe, uh, used to uh, manage the bar and hired gay staff to serve gay clients. It's also for Arma's birthday in August 1958, where gay men were first allowed to dance together on a dance floor. We are on Rue de la Gauchetière West in Old Montreal. Behind me in the tower used to be the 494 building, where in the second floor loft was the sex garage party uh, that welcomed a bunch of queers that were not welcome in the, in the village. And so the police raid here in the early morning hours of July 15th, 1990, has widely become known as Montreal Stonewall. We are standing in front of the legendary Café Cleopatra on the Main. This, beginning in the 1970s, was home to many of Montreal's legendary drag queens and was a home away from home. A home, really, for the city's trans community. We're standing in front of the Théâtre National in the village. This is the theater back in 1984, which was called the Cinéma du Village. It was a porn theater and was also the theater that gave the village its name. <laughs> 